Hey everyone, this is Larry. Welcome back to todayifeellike.com. Today I'm going to show you how you can put your Android phone or tablet into developer mode so you can do all kinds of cool stuff. It's very, very simple. Let's jump into it and here we go. All right, let's go ahead and jump right into this. I'm going to show on my tablet how to do this. So let's go ahead and jump into the tablet right now. And the first thing we want to do is just simply go to our settings. So I'm going to go ahead and click on the settings uh, button right there, the little settings icon gear. And this is going to bring open our settings. What we want to do is just scroll all the way down to the bottom of the list here where it says about tablet. So you may start from up here, just scroll all the way down to where it says about tablet. And I'm going to click that. And from here, what I want to do is go ahead and click on where it says software information. So I'm going to click software information. And now you'll see here where it says build number. So I want to go ahead and click on the build number. And as I click it again, you'll see here it's going to say you're now four steps away from being a developer. You actually need to click it seven times. So I'm going to go ahead and click it again until I enter developer mode. So I'm going to go ahead and just click it again. I'm two steps away, one step away. And now it's going to ask me to confirm my pin so that I can enter developer mode. And there we go. It says developer mode has been turned on. And for those of you that want to know, the pin is actually just the pin that you use to unlock your device. So if you have uh, some sort of security set up on your device, like a fingerprint or face ID or something like that, you also will need to have a pin set up on your device as well in case your fingerprint or your face ID can't be recognized. So the pin they're asking for is that pin, the pin that's used to unlock your device in those instances. So, but that's it. Developer mode is now activated and you're ready to roll. Now, if you want to turn developer mode off for some reason, we'll just simply go back here. We're going to scroll down and uh, we're going to go back all the way back to this section here. And you'll see where it says developer options right below where it says about tablet. And we'll click that there. And we're going to see here, there's going to be a bunch of different things that a bunch of different options that we have now that developer uh, options are enabled. But if you want to turn it off for whatever reason, you can see there's a whole list of stuff that you have available for developer options. But if you want to turn it off right here where it says on, all you do is simply click that, turn it off. And now developer options is turned off and you are back to your standard generic out of the box uh, Android device, your phone or your tablet. All right, everyone, so there we have it. That is how you can activate developer mode on your tablet or on your phone, both with Android. Now, I have both of these on Android 10, so if you're on a different version of Android, whether it be Android 9 or 8 or 7 or whatever it is, it may be in a little bit of a different place or it may look slightly different, but the options will still be there. You just have to go to a little bit of a different place to find it, but you should be able to get it just fine. So, but if you're on Android 10, that is how you can do it on your phone or your tablet. It's very, very easy to do. And we, as we can see, there's lots of options, lots of options under the developer options tab once you out, once you enter developer mode. So there's a lot you can do. So yeah, anyways, I'm gonna leave links to, well, nothing because well, everything is just software based and everything's already on your Android device. So you don't really need a link to anything. I guess I'll leave a link to my tablet and my phone or whatever if you want it. But really, I'll just leave a link to my Amazon page and all my social media contacts so you can see all the products and services that I've reviewed over time. And you can see, uh, and you can reach out to me elsewhere if you're uh, interested in saying hello or have any questions or anything. So yeah, anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up and please subscribe to this channel and follow me on Facebook. And I am Larry with todayifeellike.com. Thanks for coming back to see me. Come back and see me soon. And until next time, love, peace, and hair grease. Peace.